Hi there, my name is Maria. I'm the Aquarist and Life Support System Manager here at Sea Turtle Inc. And today we'll talk about three of the top reasons that sea turtles come into our facility and why they're injured. So a lot of times they'll come in because of entanglement. So that's meaning either their flipper or other parts of their body gets entangled in some kind of fishing line or some kind of fishing net. And another reason that we might see the sea turtles come in is due to boat strikes. So unfortunately, when people are out on their boats in the water, sea turtles will come up for air to breathe, and it's a potential that they could get hit. So we'll see that happen a lot, and a lot of those times, those are critical cases, but a lot of them do pull through, and that's really amazing. These creatures are pretty resilient. You'll also see them get stuck in the jetties. Those are rock formation that's out by our shipping channel and when they go to eat some of the algae that's growing on those rocks, they'll actually get pushed over by the tide or the waves and sometimes they'll get stuck in those rocks and have some kind of abrasion on their plastron or on the top of their carapace. And people will find them when they're walking around on the jetties and call them in and we'll go get them. So there's actually several ways that the public can help us uh, finding sea turtles. So if anyone's out walking on the beach or they happen to be fishing at the jetties and they see a turtle that is stranded, injured, or even entangled, um, or just doesn't look right, you can actually call our hotline and that's available 24 seven. So somebody from our team will be able to go out and help and get that turtle so we can bring it back and hopefully help it out.